Hello everybody and welcome back to another solo trip. I'm in the East Coast in Boston. It is my first time ever. I rarely go to the East Coast, but for the longest time I've always wanted to go to Salem for like the spooky season. So today I'm having a little Boston day. Tomorrow's my Salem day and then I'm having like a Cambridge day, which apparently is like where Harvard is. Surprisingly today is warm. I was expecting like fall, like cozy season, so I'm wearing like a sweater and everything and I'm low-key sweating. I decided to do a little mini solo trip domestically just because I just have such an itch for travel right now. I'm so bored at home. Um, and I thought this would be a great, just a few days. I think my next international solo trip will be next year. I feel like my pattern so far has been like two international trips per year because Loki like is expensive. But maybe next year will be the year I will do the most I've ever done. I don't know. First meal in Boston. I got a salmon egg sandwich and a black sesame latte. Bon Appetite. So already in Boston, there's just so many businessmen, girl. Everybody's in a button-up, in a suit. I mean, granted, it's also like a weekday, so like people are maybe on lunch break and working. But I'm like, who wants to be my sugar daddy? Oh my goodness. I'm heading to Newberry Street, I think. One thing about me, we gon' shop. Currently at Chanel, and I think I'm gonna treat myself to a little something some. I don't have a black wallet, surprisingly. Like, I have a pink one, I have a green one but I think I need like a classic black one. Also, this is the exact same style as my first classic flop I ever bought in London after filming Squid Game, and so this is gonna be perfect to match. Yay! Oh my God, there are squirrels here. <gasps> they look so fat and chonky, I love them. Oh, look, he has a friend. Y'all, it is the perfect fall day. Like, look at the colors. And it's not that cold, actually. I'm kind of warm. I got my pictures in. You know what's a good day when you get your pictures and then you can enjoy the rest of your vacation? I was telling people, I was like, I want to give All Too Well 10-minute version, Taylor's version, and this park, what is this called? Is this, what is it? Public Garden, I think. Oh, it's beautiful. It's also not ginormous from what I see. I feel like I could walk the whole thing if I really wanted to, but I'm wearing like heeled boots, so. I think I'm just gonna chill here for like another minute or so and then continue on with some, <laughs> you know, shopping. down Newbury Street now finally. There's so many stores, but the thing is there's like a lot of stores that we have in California, and so I wanna go to places that like no, don't I exist where I live, cause like I could easily just go to like a Lululemon back at home, a Zara at home. Also low key, I wanted to shop for fall clothes, but it's kinda hot and I'm like not in the mindset for that right now. Okay, let's see what this store is. It looks like right up my alley, girl. Is this a Pop Mart? Am I in a Pop Mart? Did I just walk into one of these? Surprisingly, as someone who collects trinkets, I've never bought anything from Pop Mart. Just because like, I'm not familiar with the characters. I have some friends who are obsessed with Pop Mart, so maybe I'll wait to buy my first mystery box with them. Y'all, I see Gojo, I must go in. Oh my God, I feel like I'm back in Japan. <gasps> what is this? Oh my God, this is literally my anime wall. Oh, ho, ho. <gasps> wow. Oh my God, I love it here already. We got CDs. We got little figurines. Oh my God, the Joker's mask from Persona 5. I haven't played that game in so long. We got Yu-Gi-Oh, my childhood. Ooh, Chainsaw Man, Denji shirtless. We got Blue Lock and Haikyuu, my sports anime boys. I need to find Gojo. Where's Gojo? I need to find a Gojo figurine. We found Gojo, but he's just giving oomph. Where's Gojo? Oh my god, he's popular in Boston. It pays to be nice because I literally asked him, I was like, just anything cutesy, like a little trick, a little figurine. He went in the back, but earlier I was in Diesel, just like shopping, and I was talking to the worker there and she was so nice. We had a whole conversation about like boys. And I think this is what solo trips are all about. It's just like these one-off characters in your little life, in your little episode, in your show, you know? Life is what you make of it, girl. Like, you have free will. If you want to talk it up with someone, then you can talk it up with someone. But again, it just pays to be nice. One Period. The, one of the last go to One of the last. Well, this one's shirtless, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I love the duality. I just went shopping at Chanel and now Gojo. The thing is, I already have a shirtless Gojo and mine is like the best one in the whole universe, honestly. This one, I feel like he looks kind of 
dark day. I just bought a Chanel wallet, but they have more here. They have like Haikyuu. Oh, so cute. And a little Shooky one. I actually have a Tata one at home and a free wallet, like my favorite anime free. I think I'm good on wallets now, y'all. We got Skate Infinity and Ash. Oh my God, the gay boys. Ooh, I have made it to my next destination in the Weston Tea Party. What's the tea? Oh, what is this, girl? This is spooky. I made it to the Boston Tea Party. I'm going to Abigail's Tea Room. That sounds haunted, y'all. I just got done talking to Benjamin Franklin or whoever that character was, but he was so helpful. I've been meeting so many nice people, and they're like giving me recommendations and suggestions, and I live for it. Oh my god, the boat is right here. Period. I am here at Abigail's tea room. Now, where is she? It's her. Abigail, is this you, girl? Hey, queen. I don't know, girl. This looks haunted to me. Imagine coming at nighttime and there's like a bunch of ghosts just sitting around. <gasps> Spooky. As much as I want tea, I don't do good with caffeine. So we're gonna get some water. One thing about solo traveling, you need to hydrate. Oh, I am gagged at how warm it is. So far, Boston is so cute. It is definitely a walking city, which I like. The people here are so nice. I love the people here. I spent most of my time shopping. Like I went to Chanel, I went to Hermes, and then walked down Newberry Street. I did go to the anime store. I didn't get anything just because I have like the Gojo figurine. So I was like, I'm good. But besides the Boston Tea Party, I'm getting a little hungry. So let's see, there's a spot for dinner. It's so nice to give myself like a cute fall day. Like it genuinely feels like fall because like the leaves have changed colors and we don't got any type of trees like that in LA, girl. I love it. I'm in my red Taylor's version era, period. And here is dinner. Ooh, honey. I was just in Chinatown because I was like, I have to check out the Chinatown in a major city. And then I was like, wait, let me just get Chinese food for dinner because I want to get like authentic Chinese food. And I feel like I rarely do that. Also, I finally got the tea, but like Asian tea. Oh my goodness. So I just got back home from watching Smile 2. After dinner, I decided to take myself out because it's like a weekday, but I don't want to like get drinks on a weekday. Um, I'll probably do that at the end of the week. But I decided since I'm here for like spooky season, I wanted to watch a horror movie and I heard lots of good things about Smile 2. And oh, I'm like sweating, not only because it's hot. I have never in my life been so stressed out from watching a horror movie before. And I love horror. It's like my favorite genre. But typically when I watch horror movies, I'm always just like, man, but this whole, movie was like such a roller coaster psychological like oh <sighs> shout out to naomi scott the actress because oh my goodness i'm taking acting classes right now um and oh my god her role as like the pop star that's like seeing this demon the smile curse or whatever oh, that is so exhausting to like convey because she is going through the ringer girl like she is being put through it <laughs> i'm just tired watching it i can't even imagine like acting that it was scary I guess more like like the atmosphere and just like the suspense and and you really feel like you are her going through these like hallucinations and oh my god it's just I'm still mind fucked I'm a little confuzzled about the ending but it was still good um, it was a bit long of a movie um, and besides that the runtime and the confusing ending it wasn't terrible but um, I would say like I don't know Eight and a half out of 10, nine, almost a nine out of 10, honestly. But you know what? This is gonna be a perfect segue into tomorrow because I'm going to Salem, witchy vibes. I'm just gonna get ready for bed, take a shower because low key, I might not even wear a jacket tomorrow, but um, shower the day off and then get ready for bed. I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit this yet. I'm thinking the Salem vlog might be its own video. Um, so I might just combine this with my last day here in Boston. But until then, see you next time. Ho ho ho, y'all, I have made it with my squid game girly, Camilla. Girl, how long has it I'm been? I feel like the last time I saw you was probably... At the, like, at the games. Oh my god. Which was, at this point, almost two years oh, ago. Oh, you're right, that Isn't was that January 2023. Three, so a year and like 10 months ago. Wow, time flies. I remember waiting so long for the show to come out and it came out with such a flop. And then I know. <laughs> now we're I here. I know, I know. 
but now Kevin's thriving in Boston, which was only an hour from me. And yeah, she's in Rhode Island. She drove just for me. Of course, I had to see you, baby. Miss you. Miss you, baby. So one thing about Camilla is that she's a foodie, like Perfect me. always. What do we have here? We have the Dubai chocolate, and it's the. the yeah, what's in it? Pistachio cream, and then there's this thing called katafi, which is like filo dough all crunched up so it's gonna give like crunch bar but like a nutty crunch bar Ooh, i like the sound of that right? okay we're gonna do a taste test are you ready i'm so ready yes. okay i feel like we both have to do the honors of breaking it like it can't just be one of us because okay. the inside is gonna be filled with all okay. this like nutty goodness i feel like so, i'm gonna melt it already i fingers. know it's already it's hot out so you so go from that end yeah and we'll just push against like towards the camera it doesn't ready? even have to be pretty no okay we're just gonna go for it Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow, wow, that looks like, so good on the inside. It looks like grass that cows eat. <laughs> <laughs> it literally does though. It's like freshly mowed lawn. It's giving freshly mowed lawn. Cheers! Cheers, baby. Oh, oh crunchy. It tastes like Nutella. It tastes like a pistachio version of Nutella. I like the crunch though. Do you? Like kind of? <laughs> It's good, but very crunchy. It's very crunchy, and I don't think I could finish a whole bar right now. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh my god, look at the dog Camille has. <laughs> Ow! The trauma! <gasps> oh. that, you want to be a deluxe panda or just a regular panda? I don't want to be a, but my man, he can. <laughs> so we have made it to our first vintage shop of Boston. Thanks for taking me. Of I'm in the vibe for fall. I kind of want like a rugby shirt. I'm sure. Oh, hello. Let me just look at him. <laughs> Ooh, he is padded. It's giving Jungkook. <laughs> Do you need anything? No. Right. I have everything, but. You know how people, you have to touch grass. Me, I have to touch clothes. <laughs> everything. I just have to touch clothes. That's my outing of the day. Uh, I'm in the mood for fall clothes, but I feel like it's so hard to shop for fall stuff because it's so hot in a leg girl also i will say i don't have room in my closet so this is probably not a good idea all right so we're trying on our finds the first one being this little brown leather vest i imagine this with like a crop top in la and i like how it's a bit fitted so it's like you can wear it as a shirt so i've been wanting a brown suede jacket this one could be a moment. It's just, there's like a little stain and I feel like taking care of suede is just gonna be kind of difficult. We have this brown leather jacket. It's from Banana Republic. It's just, I have so many leather jackets at home. Also, I feel like I want this to be a bit more cropped. I don't know, like everything just looks good on me. So it's just what I need. We have made it to Harvard Law School. I feel like Elle Woods. I need my dog, Bruiser. I think that's the dog's name. Or I guess in this case, Tani. I feel like it's kind of random for me to be on a college campus, um, especially since I graduated back in 2018. But this is Harvard, and I feel like that's kind of iconic, and I'm all the way over here in Boston, so might as well. I just filmed the funniest TikTok with the law student here. <laughs> I was just like waiting around and Loki was shy. Like I'm not a shy person, but I was just shy that they were gonna say no and like reject me. So there's this guy, he's like taking photos and like filming a video. So I'm like, oh, I need to ask him because he wouldn't be camera shy. I asked one guy earlier and he was like, oh no, I can help you film it, but I don't wanna be on camera. I'm like, oh, okay. But the second guy I asked, oh, he killed it, girl. He killed it. One take wonder, Lake girl. <laughs> that was so sweet of him to help me out. Honestly, the lighting and the weather is perfect. I almost wanna like have a lunch here. But I'm not hungry and I don't have food. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna wander around campus and I do wanna hit up like the school store and buy like merch, Loki. Cause I have like this fake Harvard shirt but I want like a real official one, you know? The campus is so pretty. It reminds me of UW, Loki, just cause it's like, old dark academia like hogwarts vibes the schools in la just don't give this aesthetic for some reason i will say it's really nice to just walk like in a park or like even like this college campus it's nice to just get fresh air and like, have just beautiful fall like scenic views like it's just the moment right now Ooh. I 
I want to get Harvard merch, even though I don't go here, but it's so cunty. Also, the color of this trip is maroon. Are you kidding me? I think I might get this. It's like embroidered, and it's so different from the one I'm wearing. The one I'm wearing is gray. You get like the emblem and everything. Oh! Okay, so I think this is my haul. I think I'm gonna get this little hat. I feel like you can never go wrong with the hat. And I love this color. It just matches the color of the strip, which is maroon. And I don't have a crew neck in this color. I'm wearing one right now. It's different from the one I'm wearing. And I love the embroidery. It's just like you can feel the quality. I don't like when something's just like stamped on. I feel like that will fade and wash out really fast. And I manifested a rugby shirt and I found one. And I love the embroidery here. The colors are super cute. Um, I'm gonna get a size medium just so it can be a little bit more oversized on me. Um, I I think that's all that I'm getting. I saw this sweater, it's so cute, but I don't know how the neckline's gonna look because you see how it like, goes higher in the back? It's also like $120, like, girl. Girl, not the Harvard X Lululemon, wait. Girl, the line is intense. I'm literally on the staircase and it goes all the way down there. We did an outfit change and we have made it to the Boston Public Library. We're having a little dark academia today today, but oh my goodness, I made it here just in time. I even walked here um, because the library is closing. But I got some photos in. Shout out to the cute girls that I met. Whew, even though it was like cold outside, I'm like sweating from walking all these stairs and just like that 13 minute walk here. Oh my goodness, girl. made it to my last excursion of Boston and I always like to end the trip with a view. I feel like that's gonna be a tradition. I'm so glad it came during sunset because the colors are extra golden. The leaves changing colors in the fall and then the water. It's just so beautiful. This was the perfect fall trip. Like it was not too hot, not too cold and also like plenty of fall spooky activities. This was a good city. This was a good city. I like Boston. Kind of a random trip for me but I'm so glad I made this happen. Like. Mm, love me. I made it just in time for sunset. I'm so glad I booked this time and it's like a clear day with like just the right amount of clouds to make it like wispy and beautiful. Ooh, honey, look at her. She's so pretty. Besties, we have made it to dinner. Cheers. Ooh, honey. I got a little Aperol spritz. Ever since I went to Italy, I've been obsessed with these. It's really just reflecting about how I was able to make all these things possible and happen for myself. I'm telling y'all, one day Tae Young's gonna come with me. And here is our squid ink pasta. Bone apple tang. Ooh, it's starting to feel like fall now. After eating, I ended up going shopping just because it was basically in a mall, like a downtown mall situation, and girl, there's so many cute Asian guys in there. Is this a sign for me to move to Boston? Because I'm, I'm trying to find me a tall Asian man with many, honey. Ooh, my feet hurt, y'all. Ah! I was gonna go to a bar, but the bar I went to was like a 20 person capacity. And I was basically like the 20th person in line. And so I was like, bitch, I'm gonna just go home. I kind of just don't want to go just because my feet hurt, I'm tired, I have to pack. And what am I gonna do there? Like just stand around, dance and vibe? I guess, I don't know. I feel like I would rather much just be in bed, cozied up and scroll. But I did wanna do a little haul. I went to Cambridge um, and I went thrifting. And so the only thing I got while vintage shopping was just this brown leather vest. I have a vision for it. It looks a little weird, but trust me, I'm gonna make it look cunt. And I was just in a brown mood for like the fall, but you know, LA because LA is hot. And then at Harvard, I ended up going to their store, which, oh my God, like the line, it was so busy. So the first thing I got was a hat. I feel like you can't go wrong with a baseball hat. And I love this shade of burgundy maroon. I ended up going for this design because I liked the emblem. Um, but anyway, I'll probably wear this on the plane. And then I ended up getting a little sweatshirt because I had a fake one from PR, but I got a real one now. This one is also in maroon and I love the embroidery. You just touch it and it feels luxurious. And the last thing I got was something I was manifesting. I wanted a rugby shirt um, and I love this colorway. 
Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so pretty for the fall time. Um, it's a little oversized, and this was some like baggy jeans with my hair up or something. Slay. Um, but yeah, this was so expensive. This was like $130 or something. Um, honestly, all their merch was expensive. I'm so glad I was able to make this little mini solo trip happen. So proud of me, yay, before the end of the year. I tend to not travel like at the end of the year just because it's like holiday season with Thanksgiving and Christmas, but October, girl, like it's always been a dream of mine to go to Salem during spooky season. Stay tuned for my next international solo trip, which will be early next year. But until then, I love you all so much. And remember everyone, to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye.